my brothers and sisters, we all know that nothing happens except by the decree of Allah. We all know that life and death is in the hands of Allah. We all know that sickness and health is in the hands of Allah. We all have full conviction in Allah. We believe in Him. We have seen so many pass away without being sick or ill. And we've seen those who've passed away with sickness and illness. Some pass away when they are very young and others when they are very old. My brothers and sisters, we have conviction. We are mu'mineen. We believe. You and I know that at the moment, the whole world is going through a nightmare. Something we cannot see with the naked eye. Something that cannot be diagnosed almost instantly. Something that does not show up in symptom form except after so many days. It is the sickness or the virus known as the COVID-19 or the coronavirus. And it's important for us not to panic. We are fortunate in Zimbabwe sitting in this particular masjid. I can tell you that we have not had confirmed cases yet, although they've been suspected cases and people have said things here and there. Not everyone with the flu is a carrier of the virus. That having been said, we're watching the globe from a single case to a few hundred to a few thousand in the matter of days. We cannot be fools to just sit and watch. And it does not negate our Iman in Allah. If anything, conviction in Allah and laying full trust in Allah would only be true if we took every possible precaution. If you did not take the precaution, you do not have trust in Allah. And I present evidence for that. The hadith, the Prophet ﷺ tells us about tying the camel and then laying the trust in Allah. True trust in Allah is never by leaving your doors open at night and saying tawakkal to Allah. That is a false sense of trust. It is known as tawakkul and not tawakkul. The hadith says, لَوْ أَنَّكُمْ تَتَوَكَّلُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ حَقَّ تَوَكُّلِهِ لَرَزَقَكُمْ كَمَا يَرْزُقُ الطَّيْرُ if you were to lay the true trust in Allah, He would sustain you and provide for you in the same way that He provides for the bird. And the hadith doesn't stop there. It doesn't mean I say I lay my trust in Allah and then you sit at home and do nothing about it and say my Iman is strong. I'm reading whatever portion of the Quran. I'm doing so many adhkar. I'm reading a hundred thousand times this and that. All of that said, all you needed to do was go out and look for a job. Subhanallah. And then Allah would open your doors. You can't say, I want to get married and you're hiding in the house. No one knows you even exist. So the hadith continues to say, the bird comes out of its nest in the morning and struggles whole day and comes back with a full belly. Which means it went out and made the effort all day. That's when Allah wrote its sustenance somewhere and it went and it got it. Subhanallah, Allah inspires you to go to a place where your sustenance is written. You know, when death is written for you, you will walk towards it. But if you did not take the precautions, you are responsible in the eyes of Allah. Remember this. 